Now, just got the base right here itself, and I'm gonna start. All we have to do now, actually, is just pull this up. Oops, looks like there's one more screw here. Always watch for that. See any extra screws or anything? Always make sure. You don't forget those. Don't always, don't push it. Look around. Look for screws if you feel that it's stuck at a certain spot. Don't want to break your laptop. Oh, looks like I forgot screw here on the bottom. Like I was saying before, always look around for screws anywhere on the laptop you can find them. Alright, now they got it out of that little obstacle. Should be able to flip that up. The thing's disconnected here. You can see the uh, the touchpad assembly right up in here this area all right so let me explain a little more in depth on this then all right so here we got everything off and you can see all the components themselves here um, I'll start out showing you here here's that processor fan I was talking about uh, right here in the corner and uh, that's uh, connected to the processor which is actually right here this heat pipes uh, vent uh, and tra actually transfer the heat around into here so that way it can, uh, the heat can disperse through these, uh, the vent on the top, uh, the back actually, and the side and sucks the air from the bottom through those vents and pushes it out through the side. Uh, there's also a small fan uh, right here. Uh, that fan is probably pretty insignificant for the most part. It does blow out some hot air that kind of sits around in this area. So if it really gives you a fan warning, you might need to go ahead and replace that. There might be one of your fans that might be out. Um, here, uh, this is just held in by one extra screw. Uh, you can just take this out. I can go ahead and do that. Actually, this one's a little different kind of screw. We're going to need our other tool again. Let me grab that, and uh, we'll take that off with this tool. The standard, I uh, should say. Set that screw to the side and uh, slides out. It, the, most of the screws should be all the same. I wonder, I had this, uh, this uh, DVD-ROM drive replaced by the manufacturer, so I wonder if they just did a bad job and uh, didn't put the right kind of screw on there, perhaps. But anyways, we'll set that to the side. Uh, here, this chip right here is uh, the North Bridge. Uh, it's also a graphics card in one. It uh, controls between the memory, which is actually on the bottom of the laptop, and the processor here, so it kind of directs that kind of traffic and also generates the graphics. Uh, down here, uh, we have in the corner, uh, this is where the battery connects. Uh, well that was where we had our battery just kind of sitting right here, slides right in there, and it hook up right into those little pins right inside there. And actually the clipping mechanism is still working from the other side, so I'm going to need to pull that out. Push that piece down here to work, get that out of there. Alright, and we have here, we have our hard drive carriage. That's where the hard drive uh, just slid right right in there and see that's where a hard drive just slides right in there and hooks uh, oops wrong direction slides right in there and that connects right up right there it's kind of just going to see it from the inside anyways uh, you can see here we have an extra bay opening uh, if you look from the side of the laptop itself there's uh, some buttons here as well as the audio ports here this is extra blank space right in here Probably for like a floppy drive, but I didn't have one of those in this case. Uh, the PCI MCA area right here, the two cards can slide in right there. It's actually a little, kind of funny little riser board right on there. All right, well, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, oh, well, actually, I'm going to show you uh, one more thing. I'm going to show you how to also take off this uh, heatsink uh, fan assembly here so you can get at the processor itself. Uh, you reapply the thermal paste, get some better conductivity, make it uh, run a little bit cooler, make the fan runs a little bit less, maybe give you a little bit longer battery life also in the long run. Also make, uh, keep the laptop from shutting down randomly on you too if it's in a hot day or something like that, it can keep itself a little cooler. Alright, so there's actually just three screws, start taking those off. Alright, and now we got the fan plug disconnect, now we can just lift it straight off. 
All right, and there we go. There we have processor itself right there. All right, and that's about it then. Um, not sure what we'll have uh, next uh, time, but uh, stay tuned to the Cast and Tech channel and uh, keep you posted on that. All right, see you guys later. Okay, this is the last thing. I forgot to tell you guys about uh, the generic parts of the video and, and what parts you uh, would probably normally do uh, when you're disassembling a laptop, so I'll start doing that now. Okay, so first off, for any laptop, you're always going to want to remove the battery before taking on any screws to keep you from damaging any of the internal electronics. And then uh, you're going to have to take off all the bottom screws, so you just go ahead and take off all those. And uh, there should be, not in all laptops, there's going to be some screws on the back port, so you take those off as well. On the inside now, uh, we're going to want to pop off that casing, pretty much pry at the corners, kind of like before. Like I was saying, every laptop's different. There's so many lap brands out there, but you pretty much want to pry on those the same. Okay, uh, once you got that off, now you're going to want to take off the screws. They're going to be pretty much in the same spot for the keyboard. Take those off, and you can pop the keyboard out. Usually there's a little, uh, uh, I mean, a big cable right in the center, a uh, ribbon cable. You can pull that out pretty much just like you see in the video here. And uh, there's some other differences with the processor. I've seen some... Uh, where the processor itself is actually in the bottom of the laptop, so uh, things can vary a lot between lap from laptop to laptop, but uh, pretty much just remove the battery, move the screws up the bottom, take the screws up the back if there is any, pop up uh, the plastic casing right over the keyboard, and take off the keyboard screws there, pop off the ribbon cables, pretty much the generic things you can do pretty much for any laptop to disassemble it. Alright, well uh, like I said before, I'll see you guys later, and I hope come back for another episode.